Hello everyone, my name is Saurabh Mishra and I am the CEO of EOSIS Private Limited. In this video, I will talk about custom software or mobile app development process about it. If you make a custom software, you have to follow the process so that your end product will meet your expectations. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So the first uh, major step in developing any software is a requirement analysis session. So requirement analysis session is the one where your development company has discussions karte to understand the scope of work and also to create an architecture. So in our company, we divide it into two parts. The first part is customer interview, which we take multiple call sessions with customers. Ke and we try to empathize their challenges and try to understand their vision and uh, also understand the business process in much detail. When we have multiple sessions with customer interviews, we go the next step, pe hain, jo ki hota hai scope analysis. And, uh, the scope analysis is that we have a clear documentation based on what uh, we have done communication with our client and a rough architecture. Dete hain, iske. And uh, we go back to the client and explain them what we understood from uh, our earlier discussions. So, this is what we have clients in our transparency. Rati. And that is something which I really look forward for because I believe that. Uh, अगर आप किसी क्लाइंट के साथ रिकरिंग बिजनेस लेना चाहते हैं सो इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कि बीच में कुछ गुफ अप्स नहीं हो और आप वो गुफ अप्स को अवॉइड कैसे करते हैं बाय क्रिएटिंग क्लियर डॉक्यूमेंटेशन एंड एक्सप्लेनिंग देम बिफोर इवन इनिशिएटिंग द डेवलपमेंट वर्क दैट हे दिस इज व्हाट वी हैव अंडरस्टूड फ्रॉम द प्रोजेक्ट सो हमारी जो स्कोप एनालिसिस होता है उसमें हम मल्टीपल डॉक्यूमेंट्स बनाते हैं जैसे एक एक्शन इवेंट शीट होती है एक डेटा फील्ड सब शीट होती है जिसमें बेसिकली डेटाबेस का स्कीमा होता है ये इसलिए होता है क्योंकि कल अगर क्लाइंट को कोई पर्टिकुलर चीज की रिपोर्ट चाहिए और अगर हमने वो डेटा फील्ड ही नहीं कैप्चर की है सो इट विल बी अ मेजर प्रॉब्लम सो हम क्लाइंट को ये एक्सप्लेन करते हैं दैट प्लीज अंडरस्टैंड दिस डेटा फील्ड्स एंड ये सारी चीजें हम एक सिंपलिस्टिक वे में उनको प्रेजेंट करते हैं एंड वी डू इट बाय वन ऑन वन कम्युनिकेशन एंड अगर डिस्टेंट क्लाइंट है तो हम उनके साथ टीम व्यूअर या गूगल मीट या जूम सेशंस लेते हैं आफ्टर द रिक्वायरमेंट एनालिसिस सेशन इज कंप्लीटेड वी मूव टुवर्ड्स द नेक्स्ट स्टेप अब जो नेक्स्ट स्टेप होता है उसमें हम क्या करते हैं उनके लिए वायर फ्रेम्स बनाते हैं सो so, अगर ये पर्टिकुलर ऐप या ये पर्टिकुलर सॉफ्टवेयर क्लाइंट फेसिंग है तो उसका जो यूजर एक्सपीरियंस है वो बहुत ब्यूटीफुल होना चाहिए इसलिए हम वायर फ्रेम बनाते हैं जिसमें हम बेसिकली एक मॉकअप्स एक स्केलेटन बना के क्लाइंट को प्रेजेंट करते हैं ताकि उनको ये आइडिया आता है कि जो एंड कस्टमर है उसके टच पॉइंट्स क्या रहेंगे ऐप में और हाउ अ बेसिक स्ट्रक्चर व्यू कैसा रहेगा once we get approval on that we move to the next step wherein we design the user interface so isme hum unke brand color guidelines ko lete hain aur we put it in the app hum buttons define karte hain hum usme jo alag alag icons hain wo usme dalte hain and this is purely based on their preferred colors so isse client ko ek pure visualization aa jata hai ki okay this is how my end product is ultimately going to look once we get approval on that, uh, meanwhile, parallelly, my second team had started the development work. Shuru karte thi, the back-end admin panel ka jo coding hai, wo start kar dete hai. And we do uh, recurring call sessions with the client. So uh, this phase can be called as the implementation or the coding or the development phase. In which my developers and project manager discuss with the client one particular sub-module define karte, milestones define karte hai, and at a regular intervals showcase them uh, how the app is coming out or how the even the backend panel is uh, look, uh, rolling out. So implementation usually takes the majority of our time uh, because that's where uh, the hard coding is done and uh, validations bhi chalte hai, testing bhi chalti in individual module level pe. And uh, after the implementation part is completed, we uh, do a thorough system testing of uh, whatever software or app we have made. Uh, ye internally hota hai. Hamare testers usse alag alag point of view se test karte hain. Uh, isme hum requirements analysis mein jo sheets banai hain, unko refer karte to understand whether the end product is meeting all the uh, you know pain points which a client had highlighted us during the earlier sessions. Uh, once we are comfortable that uh, the software is tested according to our standards, we give it to the client for their beta testing. 
uh, and uh, once client has also gone through it thoroughly tested it given us feedback and we made the changes we move to the next step which is the product launch agar aapka mobile app hai hum usse alag alag play stores ya app store mein launch karte hain and aapko uske links bhi dete hain and the app is live for the general public uh once this is completed the app finally moves to the last stage and that is the maintenance phase and maintenance is one of the most important phases i have discussed in my earlier videos as well uh agar aapke software mein ya app mein kuch minor changes hai to wo hum karte hain aur jo agar applications ki specifically baat karu mobile applications ki to jo operating systems mein ye run hote hain wo operating systems mein regular updates aate hain so as a part of maintenance it is our duty to ensure that your mobile app is compatible to the latest versions of android or ios ye bahut critical uh, phase hota hai mere itne clients hain jinke liye humne mobile apps 2014 2015 mein banaye hain jo abhi tak ke latest versions of operating system may be compatible hain this is possible because of our regular updates in it so this was the entire software development process uh if you are looking for more such videos you can follow our channel if you are watching it on youtube subscribe it and like and share it with other people if you are watching it on linkedin instagram or twitter or facebook you can like it and share it and uh, if you have any business inquiries you can uh, drop us an mail on uh, sales@eosis.com you can also visit our website www.eosis.com thank you everyone